going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. I got a beautiful rainbow runner caught down here in South Florida. I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet it up. This is a very delicious fish, very popular in sashimi style meals, a good firm fish. I'm gonna be using an eight inch Dexter flexible fillet. This one actually comes with an edge guard. I'm gonna have it linked below for you guys. Okay, so just like with any fish, we always start right here around the head meat. Always check for the soft part of it. Man, they got some thick scales actually. Right here around the peck fin, down to there. Take the tip of our knife. And now I'm just gonna outline this fish very superficially. I'm just using the tip, going all the way down to the fish's tail. And they are a very beautiful fish, if you guys ask me. So what we're gonna do now is take the tip of the knife, rest on the fish's spine, and making sure I can feel my knife on the fish's spine, go all the way up towards the head. We're gonna continue to do this until I get to the fish's backbone. Okay, once I get to the backbone, there's gonna be a set of pin bones right here that attach to the rib cage. We're gonna have to break through them, so I'm gonna take my left hand, and you gotta kinda give it some oomph right here is where those pin bones attach. Just like that. Break through them, okay? Now, take the knife, go on the other side of the backbone. Once we do that, there's the rib cage right here. Go over it. It's a very, it's a relatively darker meat fish. Finish off with that rib cage cut. And just like that. Beautiful piece of rainbow runner right there. Make that head cut once again, around the peck fin into the soft part of the head meat, and go down towards the tail, very superficially. Now we're gonna go back up towards the head from the tail to the head. Get the knife on the spine. It's nice to have a nice flexible knife to really contour to the fish's body. And you just repeat this until you get to the fish's backbone. Once you get to the backbone, we got to break through the pin bones again. So lift up here, give it some oomph. And we are broke, broke through the pin bones. Now we finish out our filet, get over the rib cage. Other side of the backbone. Just like that. Check this out. That is just a gorgeous piece of fish. So now you guys can see there's your rainbow runner all filleted out. Very dark meat, but not gamey meat. Very delicious. Now I really like this knife not only for cutting up fish but also for skinning them because it's got the long blade and the way you go from side to side and it's got the flexibility to really get the job done. So starting right here by the tail, we go at a slight angle and I let my left hand trail so that way I can really feel and see what my knife is doing. And bam, just like that. It is a breeze. You guys see there's nothing left on that skin and it really is a beautiful fish I mean look at all those colors on it gorgeous huh 
Now we're just gonna clean it up a little bit. Those pin bones that we broke through earlier, they run always from the head down to the tail, sometimes halfway, sometimes a little bit more than halfway. Get your knife on one side of the pin bones, on the other side of the pin bones, lift up. Now, and see that's a real red gamey part of the fish anyway that most people don't eat. Now, there is no bones in your filet. If you wanted to do a little shaving, if anything doesn't look good to you, you can, but this is ready for sashimi, for the grill. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video and until the next one, see ya.